Hello good people. How are you all doing today? I hope you are all doing good from wherever you are watching this video from. I am also doing great. My name is Masi and I welcome all of you to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to our channel and also turn on the notification bell so that every time I have a new video, you will be among the first to get notified. And for our returning subscribers, thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate all of you. Now, you know, every time Harry actually just come out to the public and even without coming out, these people are always so keen in making stories concerning Prince Harry. And now, the story right now is a previous one. I know you all remember that Prince Harry went to UK earlier this February to see his father after the diagnosis of King Charles' cancer. Now, the People magazine are already here with some other stories concerning the same. And they just said that Prince Harry did reach out to William during his visit to UK last month. So, my people, just as I said, Harry will always make news to these tabloids. As much as this media is hating on Harry, they do not have any other thing to talk about but to talk of Harry. So, you know, after the announcement of King Charles' cancer, the Buckingham Palace announced to us that King Charles has cancer and I saw Harry taking a flight immediately to UK to see his father in person. And during that time, William was nowhere to be seen. To be honest, William was not there for his father with some excuses which definitely are nothing to actually consider. Every other time we see William making up some stories to ensure that he escaped some important things. So within the following 48 hours, we saw nothing but panic from the Kensington Palace and the press. And do you know why? Because Harry actually left immediately after seeing his father and he had another event in the America. So my people, that is something that led to some panic and royal commentators were crying all over, talking of the way Harry needs to come back because William needs him. And on the other hand, William's office briefing reporters that William does not need his brother. But you know, William hates Harry. That's something we all know that. I know by now everybody is aware of that hate that I do not know why William is hating Harry. But at some point, I usually think it is because of jealousy. And that is the main issue. Now, People magazine claims that Harry did try to get in touch with William around the same time, but nothing happened and they did not see each other. You all know that during that short visit, Harry and William never saw each other. They never met despite William being around the place. So maybe I can just give you the information from the People magazine. As I said, they shared this information. So. Here is the article written by People and it goes, Prince Harry and Prince William's lack of interaction during the Duke of Sussex's recent trip to the UK to see King Charles amid the news of his cancer diagnosis highlights the heart between the brothers. Prince Harry 39 has made no secret of his desire for reconciliation and is thought to have reached out to Prince William 41, but there were no plans to meet a palace so said at that time of the visit. A former culture suggests that Prince of Wales, principal concern in his wife, Kate Middleton, amid her recovery from abdominal surgery, yet Harry spent just 24 hours in his home country to brief to briefly see his father without a visit to his brother's family now you get to see that my people these people will always look for something to hate on harry they will always look for something to ensure that harry is made the bad one 
but we all know that the problem is always in the royal family. Now, because Harry went to see King Charles, William expected Harry to go see his wife, Kate, because of the same issue. You, re you remember that Kate was also going through some things after the abdominal surgery. So from these people, they are actually talking of the way Harry was supposed to actually go and see William's wife. So they are trying to say that William was mad at Harry because he never saw his wife or something. I don't know how you take this because personally that's how I understand it. Now, Harry was going there for his father. And at no point will he tell me that Harry was reaching out to William and yet William is known of hating Harry. He will never communicate to Harry. Even from previous stories, we know that he has always been assuming Harry and trying to escape him. So I don't think so. But if at any point Harry tried to reach out to William, I know it was for some good reasons and not to actually cry to him that he needs to come back to UK. I think Harry had made it clear that he is not regretting the step that he took and he is so comfortable where he is. So I really hope that these people stop spreading these speculations and lies about Harry going back to UK. That's what is so clear. Harry is not actually begging to go back to UK as these people say. Another thing, Harry could not just go out to see Kate who is always hitting on his family, imagine making some terrible comments even to the children. And then you expect Harry to go there and see her without even an invite. Harry knows how to deal with things. He always knows to set boundaries. And that's what I love about Harry. So these people talking of it would be the normal run of things to go and see your sister-in-law whose head who had a serious operation and also see your niece and nephews. My people, I don't know if you got that right. So these people really expected Harry to just go and see Kate, the biggest hater of his family. For me, that is madness. I'll just say so. Harry, first of all, was not invited. Second of all, Harry has faced it all especially from that woman that is Kate. So kindly, let us always try to do some things that are actually making sense. But if you are here to actually talk of the way Harry was supposed to go see Kate, for me, it doesn't make any sense and I will not expect anything of the sort to happen in the near future. So my people, that is basically it. I don't know what you think about the same. Tell me if you think Harry reached out to William. And yeah, you just tell me your own take on the same. Basically, uh, that is all I had for you in today's video. Allow me to end it here. And thank you so much for watching up to this particular point. My people, remember to subscribe to our channel and also like this particular video. Stay safe all of you and also stay tuned for our next video. Until next time, it is a goodbye.